First Talk with Hal Rowe from 7 until 9 weekday mornings on WHKY Talk Radio, 1290 AM and 102.3 FM. Good morning. Welcome back to First Talk with Hal Rowe on WHKY Talk Radio. For the greater Hickory Metro, she's no stranger to the First Talk studios. She's been in many times. Lots of great topics that we've talked about in the past. Molly Rice, St. Stephen's High School's theater arts director, theater arts educator and director of the Tractor Shed Theater. Hello. Good morning, Hal. Hello. Let's Hi. start with hello. Start with hello. Hello. Good job. Very Howdy. good. Howdy. Nat- Natalie Watson. Hello. Hello. And also Seven Lasley. Hello. Hello. We're starting with hello this morning. That's right. Because Hal. that's one of the things we're going to talk about, but we've got a lot of other things to talk about. Uh, that, but that was something that I think the last time you came in, we were talking about a program that was start with hello. Is that correct? That's correct. Why don't, we go, why don't we just kind of get everything started, if we could, maybe a recap of last year. Sure. Okay. Um, we joined Sandy Hook Promises Start With Hello initiative. And actually, through that initiative, we did the week, which is now. This is the week this that the, the week. nation, thousands of high schools across the nation are joining in to this initiative to help reduce social isolation. Okay. And last year, uh, we created activities, um, kindness activities to help reduce social isolation and bullying. And uh, we won a big national award uh, for our creative work. And then we also won a Students' uh, Voices video, which Natalie uh, directed. And we went on to the Save Summit in Charlotte, Save Promise Club. So Sandy Hook Promise and Save Promise came together and SAVE stands for Students Against Violence Everywhere. And so we went to the summit and we presented a workshop on how to use theater as a superpower um, and to shed light because we worked with uh, St. Stephen's Elementary School and took fifth grade stories uh, of bullying and brought those to life and played it back for those kids to help them see um, how horrible it is to um, be mean to one another. And we were blessed, absolutely, um, in wow to meet Mark Barden and Nicole Hockley, two parents who founded Sandy Hook Promise. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, and both of their children were murdered in that massacre at Sandy Hook. And so they're a real drive within that program. And we were... Um, they watched our show. Actually, Nicole Hockley um, chose our video um, as the, the national winner for the high school level, um, our little Start With Hello video. And this year, our Start With Hello video is in sequel to last year. So we're trying to keep it going. Right. Um, and so that was such a beautiful opportunity to give us a platform to share kindness and to raise awareness. Um, and so here we are in our second year. And we're really excited about our activities. And we're also joining Tammy Cordero is our media specialist at Saint. And she said, I want to join in for Sandy Hook, but it's also Banned Books Week. Right. And so uh, she and I collaborated to intertwine literature that is banned um, and have a, a good message on social isolation, bullying, racism, any of those sort of issues. Um, we're intertwining those into our Start With Hello Week. So Tammy Cadero, unable to be with us this morning, yes, unfortunately. sadly, she couldn't be here this morning. But we'll talk a little bit about these programs uh, and what's going yes, on this week with absolutely. Band Books Week and also with the, with the program. If it's okay with you, I'd like to maybe talk with a couple of the students. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Natalie Watson, hello. Good morning. Good to see you. Good morning. 
Stevens. You're a senior at St. Stevens? Yes. Now tell me a little bit about uh, last year's program and what you did last year with Start With Hello, uh, maybe a little bit about the video and, and some of the things that interested you and that you kind of put into place. Would you be kind enough to do that for us this Yeah, morning? so last year during the week we had several different activities. Um, one of the ones that I was in charge of was we did a random acts of kindness challenge where we had little slips of paper in a box with acts of kindness on them and we would walk around in the lunchroom um, and ask students if they would like to take a challenge and pick a random act of kindness to perform that day. So that worked pretty well. Um, it was really neat to see people doing those acts of kindness. Um, and then with the video, we we um, based it on a kid who was sitting alone and then we had another guy come up to him and basically they he started with hello and then they became friends right so yeah it was really so did you put that video together i helped yes you helped so yeah. you actually you had a team i guess there was someone yeah, who was wrote it of. someone who filmed it tell me about your role in the video were you the director were you the writer what did you do yeah i was more of the director just right. kind of helping with the thought process and leading it on and then miss rice videoed it so so uh, tell me a little bit about what that meant at your school uh, and, and what that means do you as a student and, and this, just me and you talking this morning uh, you you, you and a, as a student do you see it happening do you see bullying happening did you grow up seeing that happen in your school yeah i mean we see it all the time and so during that week it, I feel like it helped a little bit, and it gave students the opportunity to see that kindness can happen and right. that, like, bullying isn't good, like, it needs to end. So I think it was neat to see that there was a little bit of light shining in, but I definitely see it all the time. So it, uh, Tell me about, uh, tell me about uh, cyberbullying. Tell me a little bit about that. And I guess somebody can, like, drop a lunch tray, somebody catches it, boom, okay, the next thing you know, it's viral. Everybody sees, everybody jumping that. Yeah. Or somebody says something or makes a mistake in class or somewhere on the on the ball field or something, and the next thing you know, everybody is kind of like ganging up on them because it goes viral and everybody's got it. Is that really stressful? Because I'm thinking with me in a day, if someone caught what I do on video <laughs> and, you know, and they put it out there, man, that would be very, very stressful for me. Is that part of the stress that happens? Yeah, it definitely is. Okay, we got some direction. I was, going yeah, on I was going to say um, seven, if she wanted to share, um, would be really great at mentioning something about viral video or and such. Yep. If you want to bring uh, seven in. I will yeah. do that in just a minute, but we're going Fantastic. to a break. Wonderful. So that's why I was kind of wrapping up with Miss Watson first. Absolutely. So when we come back, we'll go to a break, and then we'll bring Miss uh, Lasley in. How about that? That work for you? Absolutely. Okay, we have a director in the <laughs> studio this morning. She can't seven, help it. She seven can't help it. She's Molly up. Rice. She's San Stevens High School's <laughs> theater art educator and director. So we, we're going to we'll take her advice. Seven has an amazing story we'll coming up. Yeah. Really? Okay, very cool. More first talk right after this. Ms. Watson, we're going to wrap up with you as well. Okay. We'll come back and talk more right after this. Good morning. Welcome back to First Talk with Hal Rowe on WHKY Talk Radio for the Greater Hickory Metro. Molly Rice joins us this morning, St. Stephen's High School's theater arts educator and director of the Tractor Shed Theater. We're talking with her this morning. Good to see you as always. Wonderful to be here. Uh, as well as uh, Natalie Watson, who directed a video last year, did extremely well and worked with other students and Miss Rice on putting that together. Did extremely well with the Sandy Hook process. Uh, uh, um, promise and the save group as well um, so students against violence everywhere so that was very cool you got to meet some nice folks and you got to do some good work you got to hand out some uh, random acts of kindness uh, throughout the cafeteria you got to see some of those happen and shed the light on what was going on very very cool now let's talk with uh, seven lasley nice to see you this morning hey. you are a, a senior at st stevens sure and uh, you're going to be possibly we'll talk maybe about some career choices possibly <laughs> going into theater as a profession yes 
very good, a theater educator. Now, you have had uh, an, an instance of, and Molly Rice is taking care of our studio. <laughs> She's over here making sure everything is, is done correctly. Uh, good. And now, if you weren't intimidated enough, now you got the mic right there. <laughs> but that's good. Uh, so you were actually the, um, the victim yeah. of, of, I guess, like cyber violence, cyber bullying. Yeah. An actual bullying. Mm -hmm. Now, you can tell us as much or as little about this as you want to, because I know it's probably very difficult, but just tell me as much or as little as you'd want to about what happened with you, if you would, ma'am. Yeah. When I was a freshman at St., I was in PE with this girl who was kind of infamously a troublemaker, didn't really want to do the things that she was supposed to do. Right. And we never really had a problem before. There was no beef or anything between us. And then one day in the locker room, her and her friends cornered me where I was sitting and changing. And I was attacked, basically, like physically. Wow. And it was recorded by all of her friends who were following her and just other people in the, people in the locker room. And it was spread throughout the entire school and it was just a video because I did not fight back at all. Right. And it was just a spread video of me being attacked in the locker room. And, like, the resource officer was involved, nurses, everyone was involved. But this video had gone viral across my school and across the county because it had gotten to the news and stuff. Right. So then the news picks it up. The yeah. next thing you know, they're knocking on your door. Yeah. You're like, I need this. I need these people coming mm -hmm. from these from these news. Uh, uh, so, right, that's going on. Yeah. wasn't the best time. And it's just... It's really hard to even go back to school or talk about it now because it seems like it's really just a hard thing to have your like lowest point of your life spread everywhere and know right. that every yeah. moment you're doing something, it's possibly being captured by some, someone else, mm -hmm. and it's it can be spread at any time. So the phones come out. That yeah. was one of the things. It was bad enough that somebody has decided to physically attack you, mm -hmm. but the phones come out. And and then it goes everywhere. Yep. So see, that's 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 a, so. I'm, first of all, very very sorry that happened to that's you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I know that, but that has to be very very difficult. Yeah. And um, and I don't, you know, I, I'm not even going to ask you how that felt or, or the thing because it has to be very very difficult because it's not just the physical violence. Yeah. It it, it goes on the phone, but then everybody. Is talking about it. Yeah, they sure. Are. And 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 then that's got to be as as bad because you, you don't get to drop it. It's like, mm -hmm. hey, enough. You know, I've, I've heard enough of this. I've had, seen enough of this. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Mm -hmm. So that's got to be. So thank you for sharing that with us because it's got to be difficult for you even today as a senior. Yeah. Because oh yeah, you're the girl in the video. Yep, mm -hmm. that's me. <laughs> so that's. Mm -hmm. But now, did the uh, was there ever? And I don't want to get too much into this, but uh, the. Um, was there any ever any uh, re, um, uh, recourse or anything taken against the girl or the people who videoed this? Was there anything that, that was ever done about it on, on their end? Because I'm thinking that there's not a lot that people can do when it's out there. And I don't want to talk about any legal action or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But did, did anybody ever say, hey, that's uncool? You yeah. Know? Well, initially she was just suspended for seven days, I think. Right. I think she ended up getting expelled. I'm not really sure what happened to right. her. but all Because the, you were ready to move on. Yeah, I was. All of the videos, that, and it, the people who took them were talked to by the principals and stuff, and they were told to delete the videos. And I even remember the day after the whole fight and everything, one of the girls messaged me asking me, like, hey, are you okay? And I'm like, do you really care? <laughs> no, <now laughs> but I was like, care. you deleted the video, right, because the principal told you to. And she's like, actually, I didn't delete the video. And make sure you don't tell the principal because I think I should keep it. Wow. That had to be very uncool. Yeah. Did, did anybody, Ms. Lasley, I, 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 we're going to move on from this, but I'm just curious about this. Again, thank you so much for sharing. But did anybody come to your aid? Did anybody say, hey, that was uncool? Was there anybody, were there any stand-up kids, any of your buds who said, uncool? Yeah. Well, when it happened in the moment, there was a girl who I'm friends with still and I was friends with then who after getting over the shock of just like all this happening randomly she went and got the PE teacher at the time and so I was thankful for that because right. no one knew what was going on except for the people in there who didn't care and there was a girl who gave me like medicine afterwards which I thought was a nice moment and a bunch of people reached out who I had never even known before and just like hey are you okay how are you doing I saw what happened so it was nice to have those people who even I didn't know some of them ask me that was okay. Good. Well, at least that's good. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, so hopefully those people, you know, God bless them, uh, realize what was going on and were like, uncool. This is not what we want to be doing. This is not who we want to be. Yeah. So I'm, I'm hoping that maybe there were some uh, some folks out there who were doing some good 
and we're saying, hey, this is this is that. But, you know, sometimes that's very, very difficult to yeah. do, you know, because there's this like there's this mob mentality mm -hmm. and everybody kind of gets into it, you know, and, and Miss Watson's over here kind of nodding her head <laughs> and Miss Rice is over here kind of yeah. nodding her head. So uh, thank you both. Now, now, help me. Look, are you working with this week's? Uh, um, mm -hmm, yeah. Uh, so tell me what you're doing. I am a member of the marching band as well as the theater. So I'm always that kind of girl who has to go between my two kind of art things right. all day long. And so I thought I would finally kind of join their forces. And so on Thursday, we all the marching band is picking songs that they like, that are happy, that are just kind of helping you like have a better day. Right. And we're going to print out little QR codes and stick them all around the school so people can scan those codes and listen to a song. Cool. Yeah. So what did you pick? Um, Have you picked a song songs? yet? Uh -huh. uh, probably some know. Taylor Swift in there. Somewhere. So you put a little Taylor Swift <laughs> yeah. in there, okay? So, so you, you're you're going to do this? You haven't actually got it printed yet? Yeah, we're okay. just kind of working and collecting the songs in right now. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, can I pick one? Yeah, of Ooh. course. Well, okay, that would be really good. I'm going to pick one, and I'm not going to tell anybody what it is. Okay. So that when you guys leave, I'm going to think of a happy. Oh. Oh, I've got one. I have got one. <laughs> and it's really old school. Uh -huh. Is it Beach Boys? Mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm feeling that. No. That's always like, you know, up uplifting, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's you good. Know? But no, uh-uh. <laughs> Y'all have your phones with you? Yeah. Okay, good. Because like during the break, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get you to uh, Google this. Okay. And bring it up. And you tell me what you think. Okay. Because it's really old school. Mm -hmm. But I'm hoping that maybe at school people will be like, what is this? You know, so we'll <laughs> give it a try. Okay, okay. that'll okay. be fun. And, and it will be, be it will be a total secret, and you're not going to be able to know unless you uh, are at St. Stephen's High <laughs> and you go up and say, "That's that old dude's QR yeah. code." Let's see yeah. what we got here. Some yeah, go scan the code. Go, go scan the code and see what this guy's got. We'll talk with y'all just a little bit more in, in a moment because I want to find out about your plans, uh, what you got going on, and a little bit more maybe about what's happening because it is so tough at school today. It really, really yeah. is. We'll talk a little bit more about that in just a minute. So, Molly Rice, what is going to be going on for this year? Because last year was really successful, and we've already got the marching band. Oh, yes. By the way, what do, what do you play, uh, Ms. Lasley? Oh, I play the clarinet. The clarinet. Yes. Very good. Do you know if you play piccolo? That is the most highly desired. <laughs> Uh, marching band and you can get a scholarship to a lot of schools by playing piccolo so I'm not surprised. Yeah, get on that pickle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised. Very, very good. That's good. Um, so Molly Rice, we got to go to a break. But, but when we come back, I want to hear about what's happening Wonderful. this week because we're going to start with hello again. Yes. And, and that is just a great way to kind of start with people. Just hello. Yeah. I was thinking about the show this morning before we came on the air. And that really is just a great introduction and just a great way to start yes, with people. Yes, it's three simple steps. See okay. someone alone. Right. Reach out and help. Start with hello. See, See someone, someone alone. alone. Reach, reach out, out and help. help. Start, start with, with hello. hello. That's very cool. More First Talk right after this. Y'all ready to check out the song? Yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Proud to be a part of the Greater Hickory Metro, 1290 AM and 102.3 FM. Good morning. Welcome back to First Talk with Hal Rowe on WHKY Talk Radio for the Greater Hickory Metro. Molly Rice joins us this morning. St. Stephen's High School's theater arts educator and director of the Tractor Shed Theater. Also joining us this morning, Natalie Watson and Seven Lasley. We'll be talking with these uh, St. Stephen's High School seniors in just a moment, a little bit more. And, and we found out about Ms. Lasley's uh, upcoming uh, project for Start With Hello. And it is a QR code that people will go and they'll scan and they'll get to hear an uplifting good song she's in band mm -hmm. and of course now you like the song i picked right yeah i liked it okay very good and of course uh miss watson was yawning 
this was this was a real upbeat. It was going to be. I was like, and, and Susie came in to listen. She was wondering what it was, and and Miss Watts is like, hey, it's okay. <laughs> I think she 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 came on after she saw Molly Rice and I dancing. She was like, "Okay, it's a it's it's an all right song." So y'all can enjoy that. You've got a project coming up, Miss Watson. We'll talk about that in just a minute. Uh, Molly Rice, we uh, let me see if I got this one. See someone alone. Yes. Reach out and start with hello. Uh-huh. Reach, reach out, out and help. Help. That's right. So tell me about this week and and the the overall view because we got banned books coming up too. Yes. So, so tell me all about it. Last year, we had a few clubs helping us, and this year we've grown the program. Okay. I'm really excited that different clubs and classes have joined us in this week. So, of course, we have the Tractor Shed Theater, the Media Center, the International Club, uh, a web design class, and an honors multimedia class. Renee um, Lovejoy's classes are designing bookmarks for a project, the Marching Band, uh, National Art Honor Society, Student Council, ESL classes, wow. Pride Club, Beta Club, and Key Club are all joining in. So you've got like more and more people getting involved with this. We're trying to reach the entire student body, and the more clubs, the merrier, because then we have more people spreading kindness and creative ideas to help reach out to what others. Was part of the interest of some of these other clubs maybe the success that you had last year? Ms. Watson told us about kind of shining a light on it, but also not just that part which is important and the random acts of kindness uh, uh, being handed out but also kind of the national attention maybe that you got for this that everybody else said kind of whoa this is very cool this has gotten us some some publicity and people know what's going on yeah i'd like to think so i'd like to think that you know when you have young people um, with feet on the ground really trying to make a difference kindness and it does, does make spread. a difference right. yeah kindness spreads um you know it isn't popular to be kind. It's just not. And right. we're wanting to change the tide in that. Um, we have some fun activities. Uh, we have today is Memingful Monday. So memes, memeing. right? Ha, uh-huh. Memingful Monday. Isn't I actually that know clever? what a meme is. I know. Uh, and then so, they're like, oh, old dude knows what a meme is. Okay, right. Well, the Tractor Shed Theater is the Save Promise Club. So um, we are one and the other. But uh, we break into committees. And so the Memingful Monday committee. Committee I like it. Designs Meaningful their very cool. idea, right. and uh, we encourage everyone to turn their airdrop on, and that way we'll drop some kindness into their phones. Right. And we have found about. Does, I know airdrop works with an iPhone. Does it work with a um, Android as well? I believe so. I think you can put it on public or on everyone options. To Everyone's turn on looking your, like uh-huh. old dude. And to your checking airdrop. it out on the airdrop. Okay, um, good. Or we're just encouraging people then to spread it through text messages there you or go. however you can do that. it will right. work okay. for their technology. Because I was going to say, text me that meme. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like to see what's going uh, on. And we have about 200 memes that the committee oh, has wow. collected. Um, some are really funny. Some are <laughs> super cute. Um, and some are very popular, so it'll catch the eye of the teenager. And Evan... Uh, uh, Patty, one of the guys on the committee, he created um, memes that were specific to St. Stephen's as well, like with the building or, you know, something that was more relevant to St. Stephen's. Very yeah. nice. Okay, Meaningful Monday. Meaningful Monday. And okay. also today we have uh, the band books, the intertwined activity that we are talking about. And so one of the band books that Tammy Cordero chose was 13 Reasons Why. Ooh, yeah. yeah. But look what we did with this, How. We have hidden 13 tapes around the school with positive affirmations. And we say, what if she, instead of sending out those tapes, what if she had received 13 tapes of encouragement? Positive. Positive right. encouragement to say how wonderful of a person she was. So it takes that book, that banned book, and is that a banned book? It. Yes, that's a recent book. Oh yes, but it's been banned. Oh yes, uh huh. Wow. So, but we because it's like that. a Netflix special or something, uh-huh. right? It I did mean, turn yeah. into a Netflix special, definitely. But um, so you find a cassette tape and you bring.
bring it to the station and listen to it. And that committee have actually used a book called Unlearn by Humble the Poet, who used this, he kind of does like this simple philosophy. And so they have found... Um, Positive affirmations. Yes, but, that but we to go each to. tape. So they listened to each, thir- or they read about thir- the 13 tapes. Right. So number one is number one, but flipped over to the kindness side. Oh, very yeah. cool. So very, that was oh, um, the Tractor yeah, Shed idea. Theater working with the band books. And then Tuesday, Pride Club has put up positive pos- uh, post-it notes all around the school. They're going to do that that this afternoon. And then we also have Twitter Tuesday. And so um, that will be the tractor shed again. We'll encourage others to share their story of kindness and hashtag it, everybody's story matters. And we're hashtagging it out as well. Um, Wednesday, Key Club is welcoming um, at the student body at the door with candy and a smile. And everybody loves that. Yep. Everyone loves candy. Yep. And then the International Club is writing... Um, Hello and other positive messages in different languages oh, very cool. on the sidewalk with chalk. Thursday is Beta Club, which Natalie can talk about, yep, but also about the Media Center um, has made these paper roses to go with Tupac Shakur's poem that is included in another band book called The Hate You Give. And so um, there'll be videos shared out by the Media Center and those paper roses, and we'll be sharing out the Tupac to Pak Shakur poem. Um, and then Friday, we have No One Eats Alone, where we encourage uh, people to mix it up at lunch. Don't tell me um, kids are still eating alone. Don't oh, tell me that you go around. Every day. Yeah. How this. So I got a message on Facebook from a parent um, that her son is a freshman and she is worried about him because he sits alone at Hickory High School. And. Uh, I saw that message because, of course, I'm promoting Start With Hello, so the public have been emailing me or messaging me, and I said, well, let me message you about this. There's just no reason for that, man. There's something cool about those kids somewhere. There's something that somebody doesn't know about those kids that is just... They have a story. We all have a story. So this parent reaches out in a random Facebook message, and let me tell you what happened. So I message her, and I said, what's your son's name? Now, I don't know too many people at Hickory High School, but um, I know um, we, we get somebody to sit with them, you know, to make some friends because it was hard. They're yeah. just kind of sure. newish to the country. So I think, who has a connection that I know at Hickory High School? Molly Bass. Oh, connected to everybody. Yes. Yeah. And so I reach out to Molly. Y'all, y'all both know Molly Bass? Yeah. yeah. Okay, everybody everybody we're knows the, Molly Bass. We're Molly squared at this point. And yeah. so Molly, over here? yes. Okay, yeah. So Molly, I write her and I say, Molly, I have this parent. Let me tell you about this. And she's like, oh, Molly. And we've been on the phone since trying to work this out um, to get the kid uh, some company. And so I was trying to employ her, like, theater kids, you know, to help out. Um, So, but Molly, there are other schools involved, too, in the county that I'm excited about. Molly's trying to start Hickory High School, a real start with Hello Kindness Week and HCAM. So she's making moves. She's spoken with Dr. Adele to try to make moves to help bring the the week. Because I know that every school in North Carolina now has the anonymous tip line from Sandy Hook Promise. But we want to do kindness activities, not just to say something. Right. We want to do kindness activities because that's what's going to really help these kids. So you brought in Hickory High, Molly Best. Yeah, they're working on it. It's working on it. I want to hear about this kid. And so, um, yes, yeah, so that's what we're working on is to get him some company. Okay, so we haven't, we haven't had that yet. We're, we're working, working on, on that. that. Okay. We're working on that. Um, and so I knew that Molly could be a good help there. Oh, absolutely. I am thrilled because I know Jacob, uh, F- Jacob's Fork does start with hello right. with Lori Wyke out there. They've done it. This is their second or third year. Right. Um, and so they're out there making a difference. But last night I got a robo call from Terry Ashley at Oakwood Elementary where my son goes to school and he right. comes home, Micah, nine year old now, fourth grade, and he comes home, Mommy, guess what we're doing? Start with hello. Oh, nice. I was like, oh my goodness, that's fantastic. So Michelle Kubinick, the counselor there, and Miss Ashley have started Start with Hello at Oakwood Elementary. And it's just great. Isn't it beautiful? Good, so it's spreading. It's beautiful. It's Good. spreading. Well, let's talk with uh, uh, Natalie Watson because we heard about what's going on with the band. Uh, so you're in Beta Club. Yes. So you got a special project with Beta. Yes. Okay. So we're starting this chain message kind of activity where we wrote up a kind and inspiring little message to send around the school, and we're hoping everyone in Beta Club will start 
sharing that out through text, social media, whatever they have, and then hope, hopefully students that aren't in beta club will receive those and send those on so it will spread throughout the whole school. So we have like this kind um, text message, and then at the end it's like it says, share to three friends who need this today. Um, so then hopefully it will continue to spread. Very good. So you're going to try to spread the message. Yes. And, and you're going to pick something inspiring and something cool. Yeah. More First Talk right after this. Good morning. Welcome back to First Talk with Hal Rowe on WHKY Talk Radio for the Greater Hickory Metro. Why don't you get your school involved in this? Why don't you maybe talk to, if you're a parent or grandparent listening this morning, why not ask your school or ask the students or the instructors at your school about starting this week at your school, right, Molly Rice? Absolutely. I know the ones I mentioned are doing it, and there could be other schools doing it. It's hard to figure out because Sandy Hook Promise, I asked them to share right. who's doing Catawba County schools, mm -hmm. but because of the nature of the program, they're not able to share sure. with me the school list. But it's Start With Hello. It's yep. part of National Kindness Week. What's it called? Well, it's it's the Sandy Hook Promise um, where we're trying to make schools a, a more of a safe community right. and have more connection. Connected, uh, connected. But it start with hello, and it is this week. It is this okay. week nationally. Yes. Very good. Well, let's talk to uh, Natalie Watson, and I'm I'm gonna. You can tell me uh, none of your business if I ask you any questions. I'm just <laughs> none of my business. But uh, tell me where you're gonna go to school next year, because everyone's asking this, right? You're a senior, yes. so <laughs> everybody's like, "What are you gonna do?" So tell <laughs> yeah. me about your your. Uh, where do you want to go to school? Um, my first choice is UNC Wilmington, and my second choice is Coastal Carolina. Those are the two that I have that I'm pl applying to. Uh, and why are you do why are you doing that? What do you want to do? What's your major? My passion is marine biology and environmental science. Okay. So I'm thinking I want to double major in that. So, so do you have any idea what you'd like to do with that? Um, I honestly don't know. Right. I, there, I mean, there's so many options. Like I've thought about like living on a boat in the middle of the ocean doing research <laughs> for months. Like, and right. then just like, or just like working at a like marine animal rehabilitation center. Like, I don't know. There's so many options. So. Right. I'm just excited. So, I don't you, know. so you like marine animals? Is that yes. what it is? Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is something, and you want to be on the water. Yes. And you want to be on the beach. Yes. And so that's kind of... <laughs> yeah. And I'll miss on the... Oh, um, and I was just going to mention scuba diving. Like, I was able to do that this summer, and it just kind of... That was my final post. I like, yes, this is what I want to do, just being underwater and, like, swimming with sharks and everything. Where did you so, do this? It was off the coast of Wilmington. Oh, how nice. So yeah. you did this off the coast of Wilmington? Yes. I actually went to a sea turtle camp, and that's where I got to <laughs> A sea turtle camp. Yes. Very cool. Well, good for you. Well, I wish yes. you the best with that. I hope that sounds like a, that sounds like a lot of fun. Yes. It uh, is. And I hope that that works out for you. So uh, let's talk with uh, Seven Lasley. Now, tell me a little bit about you. What do you want to? You're a senior. Mm -hmm. Everybody's asking you, what are you going to do? Yeah, I want to <laughs> teach theater. Right. Uh, <laughs> uh, and of course, Molly Rice is very pleased that you want to teach Absolutely. theater. Absolutely. What, what is it about theater? What was the thing that got you about theater? Um. Well, I have a real passion for kids and for working with kids and for just helping kids and I think theater is really the most interactive most hands-on most like it's just it's something people don't really think about like you can be some kind of like English teacher and you might have some kids who love you you might have some kids who just take your class because they have to but kids who are in theater they're there to do something meaningful to build something to produce something you know, to build a family yeah, like we have. to create art together, yeah. yeah. And there's like a family feel to that, yeah, isn't really there? Is. Yeah. And, and so this, so uh, where will you go to school to do this? And 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 you're you you want to you want to be the teacher. You're not so much about getting a theater degree so that you can be on stage, mm -mm, or, no. but you, so you can help kids uh, understand this. Yeah. Um, I like App. They have yeah. great teaching programs. Obviously, Eastern right. Carolina has good theater. Of and course, if she's at App. 
She can take Adrian Rice as her Ooh. freshman seminar <laughs> professor. Think, Just like Hannah Millette, who's doing that now from the tractor shed. I think Elizabeth Bachoven is, is She up there. is, mm-hmm. yeah. She's up too, and uh, John Ray, uh, who is with Green Yes, Room absolutely. Just saw him in Bright Star, a fantastic right. yeah. show. So a lot room. of great uh, opportunities for both of you. Mm. So I hope that really works out well for both of you. I, th- yes. I hope that's a blast. And now you're having like a lot of fun. This is your senior year, right? So, that, so you're supposed to have like a lot of fun. Is that right? Sure. Yes. Yeah. Sure. Right. Yeah. Great time. <laughs> but is it a good time for you right now? It is. I'm teaching kids right now at Art Middle School as an internship, and that's a lot of fun. And I really love my kids that I teach every day. Very good. How about you? Good year for you? Yeah. Right. I'm actually taking classes at LR as instead of really Saint this year. I'm doing the LR Scholars Program, so I'm taking classes there. So that's a neat change, and it's really. I think good. that's just great. Good for both of you. Mm-hmm. I'm just very very Aren't happy for both. Of you. Yeah. Thanks so much for coming. I to love this my morning. people. Really really nice. Meeting. Hey, you have a video this year because you had a video last year. And so then Lassie was very, she filmed this one, right? Yeah, I filmed it. So you directed yes. last year uh-huh. and yes. then you filmed <laughs> That's this That's right. Year. I was a little, I did some direction on this one. I had like some ideas. Absolutely. And it was my idea to do uh-huh. the sequel of last year yeah. with um, Isaiah and Evan. So our you, stars. you got a lot of great things going oh, on. Oh, you should have seen Seven being pulled across the <laughs> cafeteria table so we could get a little bit of panning action. Yeah. Uh-huh. We had to, like, drag our feet. You know, we're poor. Oh, yeah. we're, we're theater on a street, a shoestring budget. You yep. should have seen the kids, like, dragging seven you. back to uh-huh. pan out to get the last shot. It was so fun. Okay. Okay. Started falling, That's and then I was like, guys, I have a great idea. And I laid down. I was like, Taylor, come here and pull me down this table. So that was the special So watch effect. for the last shot. <laughs> Where do we get these? Where can we go online? The and Tractor see? Shed Theater YouTube. Uh-huh. Tractor Shed Theater YouTube. Yep, if you just we'll type see, Tractor uh, Shed Theater. We'll see Natalie Watson's from last year. That's and right. we'll see Seven Lastly's uh, film work and, and direction uh, from this year and the special effects. Yes, and, and, <laughs> and, and, and our, uh, our friend Emily, uh, who's in play production, she edited it. So. Mm-hmm. If you can say that word quickly, edited it, edited it, edited it, edited it. Edited. She was involved in the editing. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> she was the head of editing. Now, uh, what's next for Tractor Shed Theater? Y'all are always doing oh, something dear. fun, kind of cool. There, you got something well, coming out that's spooky, right? Yeah, this is a trigger for us right now because we're not ready, <laughs> and people are knocking on my door at, uh, in on Fourth Avenue, going, uh, "Hi, Molly. Uh, so, what are you guys doing for Halloween this year?" And I'm like, "Don't talk to me," because we're doing Start with Hello right now. We had definitely paused our Halloween. Halloween project Mm -hmm. Um, after Start With Hello, this will be our sixth year entertaining thousands of trick-or-treaters on 4th Avenue. Uh, we have uh, we went viral with uh, our Nightmare Before Christmas mm-hmm. uh, Halloween cool. video, and it's all in my yard, and it's a, about so this a 20 is at your place? show. Yes. So this is at your place, and Definitely. the kids come over. They yep. do. So and they just, put oh, on a smile show. Like, yeah. It's, too much it's fun. the best time. <laughs> <laughs> cool. That's great. But thousands do come out, um, and we run out of candy. No, we, we've been good about stocking up on candy oh, we yeah. probably go through about 40 50 bags of candy wow yeah. um, or more but it's, it's a production it is a full-on yeah. production we last year everything. we did the monster mash it was all live singing and dancing and all original work based on that theme the year before that let's see if i can do this yes. was alien abduction where we actually probed <laughs> and we had a ufo made <laughs> out of a trampoline with <laughs> silver duct tape <laughs> that yeah. natalie and i made trampoline yeah yeah, yeah. okay got and, it um, so that's gonna that, be that's gonna be big this year. Yes. Oh yeah. We did Nightmare Before Christmas before that, and then Zombies, and then the first year we did a Haunted Circus. Yeah. Well, I want to thank you. Thank you, ladies, both very much. I, I, I said already for what you're doing as far as school, but for what you're doing for other uh, people. Yes. yes. You know, and making other people maybe a little less lonely and feeling a little bit better today. That's mm-hmm. just so important. And that you're doing that now at your age, just so very cool. Yeah. So very cool. Good for you. Because that's, like really, that's like really big stuff. That's like way beyond what most people mm-hmm. are doing in their day. So that's very cool. Good Theater's for you. the best vehicle and, for and, that, isn't and, it? And you really are like, you're never too cool to be kind. No. Mm-hmm. no. Oh, I like that. Is there a song with that title? <laughs> there should I'm going to write one right now. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be on the QR code on kind. Thursday. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was going to say, there, that's, that's another one. Thank you, Molly Rice, for what you're doing. And uh, we want to thank St. Stevens, uh, of course, for allowing uh, this show to happen this morning. We're going to go ahead and close the way we normally do with our national anthem. <laughs>
Thanks so much for joining us on First Talk. We know you have a choice in morning radio. That's why we uh, appreciate you choosing First Talk. Tomorrow morning, Newton Conover School System will be here. We'll be talking with representatives from them. And it is National Honey Month. So members of the Beekeepers Association of Catawba Valley will be here tomorrow morning to talk about honey and bees. That's tomorrow morning on First Talk. Be grateful for what you got.